Hello, and welcome back to Bethesda, Bethesda Sousa. Yeah, Bethesda Sousa game. Um, Caves of Cud. Um, this is going to be somewhat nightmarish. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to get back into my, um, you know, back into the groove of uh, actually, like, using our skills. Um, do we jump? Oh, yeah. Do we jump back a whole two spaces? Yeah, I, I, it's been so long. I, I've kind of forgotten how our uh, long blade skills work. Uh, you, dude. All right, we'll just get that. And then um, I know that this has been addressed in other series, um, but I, I, I love the idea. Can we just can we get throw is one of our default uh, <laughs> abilities for boulders? That'd be good. Um, we're on our first floor. Oh, we got some Gersh. We got some Gersh. We got a lot of Gersh, actually. Conjoined Gershling. Receives plus one hit. Oh, it's got Swarmer. Um, wet Gyre White of Bethesda. Bethesda. Uh, okay, so has Bethesda Sousa been buffed? Oh, conjoined means when you kill it, it becomes two. Interesting. I have a funny feeling that one above me is also conjoined. Oh, what do you mean a rocket launcher? <gasps> There's a rocket launcher turret. Oh my God. Why? Why? There's a rocket launcher turret immediately. So this is a nightmare already. Not not because of the Gersh stuff. That's fine. Um, mostly because of the rocket turret, I'll be honest. Uh, we're going to go get as far away from that as possible. I'm going to pray that there isn't another one of those. I might I might recoil. Um, and we still have Spiral Boar as an option, by the way. I have a Juice and Cannibal. Ow. Um, let's do... Don't we have to... Be... Where's Aggressive Stance? Isn't Aggressive Stance swipe? Make an attack against all adjacent opponents. Push all adjacent creatures back one space and attempt to trip the ones that are... Okay. Let's do Defensive Stance swipe. Um, and we'll do dueling stance lunge on the, um, I've forgotten what they're called, Cragmensch, and then we're going to do sting on the juicing cannibal, and then I'm just going to run away for the time being and shoot with jacked. We do good damage with, uh, well, when we actually hit. We do good damage, or pen, I suppose. Cragmensch have a fairly high AV. They're pretty tanky. They can be, anyway. So I'm pretty sure uh, our staircase is on the other side. Um, I'm not seeing a staircase, so it's going to be to our right, and that means we have to approach... Oh god, we just walked by a patch of Bethsaida. Um, so there is our rocket turret. Just did a bunch of damage to us. Um, why did there have to be a rocket turret? Why? What just... Uh, oh, that was a stunning force from the Luminary. I'm just gonna kill this guy and then oh that's a thousand xp rest for a moment and you know what we should do actually uh is i'm gonna go down and we're going to temporal fugue force bubble and we're gonna get in there and we're gonna shoot that thing it's 
confused. Are we on bad terms with one of our temporal clones? I think we're on bad terms with some of our clones. Please die. Well, I mean, we're throwing everything at it in the form of our vast armaments. Okay, the 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 uh, the the rocket turret is now dead. This is why I say. This is why I say, and I I, I really can't stress this enough that Bethesda Sousa is the worst. Okay, we've already got some of these guys, plastronoids. So that's interesting. Uh, do they give us any XP? I don't think they do. They usually do, but I usually come here before... Oh, we're only level 21. I know that's uh, quite high, but... Honestly, I, I don't know. I feel like it, it could be higher. Level 22. Okay. <laughs> I actually didn't know that was coming. Well, we get 237 uh, XP for our... For killing a plastronoid. So they are, like, well worth it. Well worth it, mate. Well worth it. Kill Jesta. Um, do we want to try and make friends with the trolls? I don't think we do, to be honest. I know it's fun and all, but like, um, I just think that it, it, it is an extra level of, uh, you know, complication that concerns me. This first troll can chop parts off of us and I would prefer not to deal to, to put it bluntly. So I think we're going to do like a temporal fugue force bubble and then just shoot it from a, a distance, you know? Uh, let's go ahead and just like throw in a, another cell just to give our uh, our jack chain laser a little bit more oomph. Um, okay, we'll do this. As soon as I see them, there they are. I'm gonna go ahead and temporal fugue and then force bubble and I do that like once and then the other Wait, oh, we're already on good terms with trolls Okay, never mind Disliked by the villagers of Kekuka admired by the order of the briny ghost of Alipar castle disliked by the villagers of Alakar Um I really didn't expect that I thought we were still gonna have to deal with the trolls I'll share I'll share a dram with this with this lad. Um yeah, Kekuka is only 50 less with us. The villagers of Alakar are all you know, they didn't like us to begin with, so that's good. Um we should actually be able to um have enough troll rep by the end of this. Oh, I need to buy his uh, key. Hey, lad. I need to buy our key. We should have enough reputation by the end of this that we can, like, buy some secrets. So that's kind of nice. Okay, there, there's the first troll dealt with. Second one should be just as easy. I, I'm kind of blown away by this. Okay. Uh, what's your reputation? Disliked by urchins. Admired by Svardim. Heck yeah. That's like a win-win right there. I love me some Svardim rep. Urchins decreased by 50 to 240. We're almost on good terms with urchins. One, one good uh, admired by urchins would be good. Would, would put us over the top. Um, yeah, we will have enough by the end of this to get a secret or two. We're gonna have to buy the luminous silver key. I know I could, like, beguile them or something and then take it, but, uh, I'm being very stubborn about this, um, playing things, quotation marks, legitimately. So you'll have to forgive me. Um, what can we sell? We could sell the bronze key. Pretty sure it is actually worthless now. Uh, we'll sell that mushroom. And I, I guess we could sell this 
water skin of cider. I didn't expect to need money, so I didn't really bring much of any. Um, so we have two of these nano pneumatics. Hmm. I should disassemble one of those. They're 16 pounds. They're actually no joke. Oh, come on. What, uh, what uh, do I sell? I'm not selling lover's blossoms. I refuse. I'm not selling my freeze dried horse shrimps because I already am down to like only 35 of those. I know that's a joke, but I guess I'll just sell some more chem cells. I can always make more, I think. Uh, now the problem is I, I think I only have night vision as per the uh, mutation night vision. So I'm not actually sure if I'm going to be able to see the next troll. I see the, uh, the, the bug where they're still visible on the minimap is, uh, is still a thing. But yeah, I can't see them, which means I night, I, I actually need night vision goggles in order to see them. Um, which is kind of a bummer because i don't i don't have those and i don't want to really go on a mission to go and and find them so i think what i'm going to do is um do we still have we don't have our nano pneumatic jackhammer equipped let's go ahead and first of all disassemble this one um let's go ahead and mod this one with jacked because apparently it keeps being useful and um and then let's let's go ahead and equip it yeah that means we're gonna have to do a whole bunch of tink finicky stuff here but I'm gonna go ahead and uh wow that does a lot of damage to wall yeah we're, we're just gonna break through the wall um let's go ahead and re-equip our rainbow weave cloak um where's our shield i'll come back when i have when i find the uh, night vision goggles and make friends with this specific troll i think it i think it's um worth it just want to double check and yeah we do have to do one more thing gonna make sure our stinger is equipped um one thing i would like to do is make a couple more emp grenades just in case and maybe a couple more flash bang grenades just in case um and let's just make a couple of love injectors only to get rid of them out of my inventory okay good oh vast animus huh so that is another conjoined Gershling. I feel like, um, I feel like Bethesda Sousa has been buffed. Not much, but like there's definitely Gersh here and it's definitely intended. Like this isn't like a, a whoopsie cud has uh, done a, you know, procedural generation. It's, this is like a, oh, Bethesda Sousa has been updated to have Gersh, you know? Also, I'm going to cook from a recipe. Um, where is our... Yeah, okay. Plus four strength. Whenever you eat a mushroom, you gain eight plus eight agility for 50 turns. We're going to we're gonna dabble with that. I destroyed that door. Seems like uh, mysterious strangers are not on bad terms with robots plastinoids are gonna wear us down I, oh and we have ick slugs i know those aren't ick slugs i know it's something else but oh god no not snail mothers oh i hate snail mothers um yeah stuff like that is actually gonna really wear us down uh we can get poisoned pretty easily and we do not have immunity to poison despite our uh you know our our natural propensity to dole it out and i know it's venom oh uh, did we just accidentally shoot him i think we accidentally shot the mysterious stranger cloneling just cloned um a kragmensch we need to get rid of that cloneling like post haste there we go they're done uh we're on dueling let's do like um 
lunge. Can't remember. I think it's we want defensive stance lunge so that we uh, sting and also back up. I'm actually going to back up to here. Okay, sting. Are they dead? They died. The plastinoids are a little bit scary. They're not good. They, they don't do a lot of damage all at once, but they do wear you down. They have the like they have this uncanny ability to, uh, you know, do a little bit of damage to you every single time they hit, basically. Hello. Glad uh, glad we're on good terms. That being said, they die real easy. Especially when you have a jacked, you know, oh god. The Beth uh, Bethesda, the Beth, Lurking Beth is also going to be an issue. The Beth, the Lurking Beth has the best chance to kill us. Because that does do a ton of damage all at once. So as long as I take things slow, um, I don't get distracted too much. The, the one other thing that could kill us, I'm just, you know, going through it all in my head, is um, the, whatchamacallum, Alchemist. Alchemist has actually gotten me killed in previous runs. I, I would like to, you know, save him. Like, I would like him to not be killed, not be dead. But um, sometimes save, trying to save him is... Uh, more dangerous than just letting him die. It's more dangerous than a lot of things. Really not a huge fan. But we can uh, take out King Crabs quite easily. Really want to get rid of that Lurking Beth. We have a lot of floors of this, by the way. There's no way I'm doing all of Bethesda Susa in one episode. If you were hoping for that, um, you know, no. The Kragmensch, they can take some hits. And they can also dish it out. I'm a little, you know, I'm not, I wouldn't say worried about Kragmensch. We have some pretty good AV. Oh God. Something is throwing out freezing must, freezing mist. I don't know what. These guys have Gershling fangs, huh? That is interesting. Uh, let's do like a sting and a lunge and I think that killed them 500 XP. We're getting some nice XP We're also getting some nice injectors as is uh, you know the trend in Bethesda Bethesda Aha get mental mirrored idiot Our mental mirror is pretty good. Do we have any mutation points? We do we actually have some skill points too. I wonder if taking um, like protection from poison wouldn't be a good idea. I sure hope what I just said wasn't foreshadowing. I really do have a fear of like saying a thing and then uh, sensing like a foreshadowing menace. Uh oh, that was a turret sound. Please don't be a rocket turret. Okay, that's, there's a humor. Uh, it's a chain turret. That's fine. A, a gyro humor right next to a cloneling would normally give me, um, give me serious, like, acid. <laughs> oh, he's already been cloned. I don't want to shoot him right now because there's a chance I might hit the, the, the humor. And the humor's actually my friend right now. If you... You missed it. I went to uh, immense effort to be on good terms with, with Ooze. I went to maybe not immense effort. Are we actually? We're on good terms with Urchins as well. At least good enough. We've got our first... Uh, hey, three Defolian Grenades Mark II. Great renown. Ah, uh, shoot. We have Defolian Grenades Mark One, but not two. Dang. Um... 
we do have uh, something something leaked into the into the pipe so now we have to wait for it to load uh we are on good enough terms with um unshelled reptiles so we have a basilisk but that won't really matter too much i do want to oh god lurking beth I want to get rid of this cloneling. There we go. They are dead. They are no longer. Um, also would like to explore as many floors as is would be safe. I'm going to be taking things as slow as I possibly can. Oh God. And yet it's not slow enough, you know, like even, even that kind of paced out movement wasn't, wasn't slow enough because I walked right on, uh, lurking beth and though i didn't take damage it's not oh it's not a guaranteed thing um it's, you know you don't guarantee you're not guaranteed to take damage it's still really nerve-wracking walking on lurking beth when you know how much damage they can dish out i'm collecting a luminous horse room where it is uh oh look at that that sucks it's okay oh god it's not okay it's not okay. it was kind of okay there's a lot of crabs here my god uh what do we have equipped right now flashbang that's actually not bad let's just throw a couple flashbangs uh i'm actually gonna temporal fugue Maybe that's overkill right now, but ooh, ooh, we. I, I think there is a. Um, the the name is is uh, escaping me right now, but there is a nasty lizard around the corner. Hopefully, we're okay with them. The uh, snail mothers are honestly the thing that gives me, all, like, some of the most anxiety. I really don't want to have to deal with them. They're just, they're, they're so tanky and they really do cause problems. One of the nice things about Temporal Fugue is it's sort of the press everything button, you know? Like, I don't have to use my uh, hologram bracelet because my clones will do it. I don't have to use my grenades because my clones will do it. It really is just like, you know, do everything. Oh, there is yeah okay there is our rhymewick and we are actually on good terms with the rhymewick which i'm very happy about it really does pay it pays to care you know just want to get rid of i actually think we're on good terms with those ick slugs as well neutral Hostile. We're sna <laughs> snail mother hostile. Ick slug uh, neutral. Very strange. Um, can we get like a sting off? Lunge. They're poisoned. Now we're not on good terms with ick slugs, which makes a lot of sense because we just attacked their mother. <laughs> I know there's a couple of turrets that I probably could have gone out of my way to um, uh, disarm and take some of their stuff. It's not really the purpose of um, what we're trying to achieve here. I'm trying to take this seriously as as far as a threat is concerned. I do not. I'm not going to try and do too much looting. A lot of slime everywhere. Here's our, um, you know, dose of plastinoids. We should be using clairvoyance also as much as I can. It'll help a lot um, so that there are no surprises, basically. Okay, um... I do want to check these occasionally uh just to make sure like take a, a <laughs> take note of how many um like stocked up regeneration tanks we have 
not that it matters too much because we do have uh, an absurd number of tonics so it's it's it, you know it really doesn't matter i don't think i'm going to be coming here anytime soon with the purposes of regenerating uh, an arm but you never know i'll check occasionally i'm actually going to do an auto Ooh, okay yeah that's a good reason not to do an auto explore is lurking beth seems like the best way to deal with lurking beth by the way they come in patches they come in like a bush so if you see one just do a couple wait like wait a couple turn oh god wait a couple turns nearby and um your character will slowly begin to spot them but take them seriously they they really can dish out that damage oh god remember when i said uh i don't think there's any robots that'll like do too much damage to us a freaking saw hander and we i always seem to encounter a saw hander like when it's too late like when it's right in front of me it's kind of astonishing honestly there's our rhyme wick we are still on good terms i never did uh, eat a mushroom so i actually don't think that this that meal is super good for me right now because i'd rather focus on uh you know our position so let's choose uh quickness strength and dv I think that's that's good enough we got some gyro humors this uh bethesda suso would be kind of like my nightmare if not for the fact that i i went out of my way and made friends with a lot of vicious creatures i do not want to fire at that cloneling on the off chance that i hit something like a friend oh god oh god Love injector, salve injectors. That's, what is that? 46 salve injectors. That is a, a huge mess that is hopefully going to sort itself out. Kragmensch have a very, very slow movement speed, and I have a very fast movement speed. So, um, you know, I can kind of dance around them. I really do not. Oh my god. Do not like what's going on here. As I said, these plasinoids, they're not a huge threat, but they are going to add up. They're also something I have to fire into, and they might potentially... That could um, make us enemies to some very dangerous threats right now. Like, we have, we have some powerful friends, and I want to stay friends with them. So I'm going to just, you know, make sure uh, any... any ally i have is behind me so that i do not accidentally shoot them and i'm also going to double check occasionally that that humor behind me is still my friend i leveled up this is good let's sting they're dead cool i was going to sting and lunge them but no need to do both Something died behind me. Uh, must have... Wasn't my friend. My friend's still hanging out. My friend is dazed. Gyro humor dazed. Remain stunned. They're stunned. I don't know what stunned them. It's always spooky when something you're hoping is your friend like walks right up to you because that is like the actions of not a friend there's a lot of these guys here i am super glad i'm i'm good with oozes right now oh my god that that was seriously like so many humors. I, I this this uh, Bethesda Susa would have killed me. There's no question in my mind. We've got another. Um, let's do a. Oh god! If I if I temporal fugue, they're gonna fire blindly. Oh no! 
I did it. I did it. I did the, the bad. I shot a humor by accident. Are they all bad with me right now? I'm just going to walk out of that room and then hopefully they forget it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, they're right in front of me. Okay, in this instance, um, first of all, I'm going to clairvoyance because I just... Oh, there's our alchemist. Um, I'm going to temporal fugue. How did I take damage just now? I guess they're dead. Uh, are we on bad terms with all ooze right now? It doesn't look like it, but that could change any second now. I'm just keeping a c careful eye on uh, what's happening. I think I succeeded in only angering one ooze. I'm just gonna wait for a moment. I wanna wait till I have clairvoyance back. And then I wanna make moves towards the alchemist. I really should have uh, kept some trade goods. I think I might just, I, I know I've been um, making a lot of claims about playing legitimately, but I honestly might just like beguile the alchemist. Cause look at look at all the stuff we're gonna miss out on. Do they have um, reputation? No, they don't. Please forgive me. Um, I'm 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 doing it. I'm doing it. Probably possibly I'm cheating the the most cheatable thing in the game, so that makes it not better. But like. I really should have brought more things to trade with. If you want, uh, let me know in the comments. I'll, I'll, I'll throw some like trade goods into a, a volcanic pit later if it, if it makes a difference. Um, so uh, let's go to food and eat ourselves a freeze dried horse shroom and beguile and uh, chat trade. Cloning Drop, Brain Brine, Neutron Flux, Sun Slag, Warm Static, why not? Um, it's good. Trade complete. Uh, direct to stay there. I'm gonna go ahead and drink the Sun Slag now. So we have uh, one, three drams of cloning draught. So if I multiply that with our three metamorphic, we, we're gonna have um, six, uh, was it three? Okay, so uh, we would have six, 12, 24. 24 drams is almost good enough. Uh, if I could do a fourth multiply, that would be great. So like four metamorphic polygels, um, but like it's super not necessary. All that means is that we get to multiply um, Tilly like a ridiculous number of times. We just have a free herbary, huh? Also, what, 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 what do we got? What do we got here? Three skim soft utility high tier implants. What a horrible, absolutely awful sparking beetle. I do not care for that even a little bit. Ape for hat. It's usually pretty good. Let's go down. Um, oh, is that our... Uh, is that the actual basilisk? No, it's just a husk. This place is just filled to the brim with acid and it's kind of a wash. Th 
the I gotta say the 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 um, jack chain laser turret or just gun in general it's really good for Bethesda speaking of which I think I'd like to take heavy weapon I think it's a it's time what does tank do you suffer no movement penalty while wielding a heavy weapon yeah let's take that as well um, I, I should take other things for sure but um, you know we just bought ourselves a whole bunch of movement speed because I was using this chain laser and um, definitely we were taking a, a movement speed cost so now we have our movement speed back and we also <laughs> still have a, a chain laser it's just so nice uh, let's do some a clairvoyance here okay not much going on oh we got some some lurking beth got some more tonics getting lots of tonics there's some fix it spray foam love to see it no uh still haven't seen any like um repairing whatever like a, a legitimate I forget what they're called. I'm so sorry. I'm, my brain is like completely failing me right now. A regenerative tube, basically. I haven't seen one with clothing drawn in it, so uh, we don't have the means to like recover our limbs outside of like the 30 Uber Nostrum that we have. How, many, how much Uber Nostrum do we have? A lot. 12. It was almost not an exaggeration. It still was an exaggeration. But almost wasn't. More tonics. I don't even know if I, I'm going to need a blaze injector, but better to have one. Absolutely better to have one. Better to have 12 of them. Honestly, I don't mess around with blaze injectors anymore. Oh, twinning lamp, right, huh? This is like one of the few things that I'm not keen to see. There is a chance I could actually hit both of them at once. It's not a good chance. Um, I think I need some high explosive grenades equipped. Do I have? I have a couple made. Let's just unlock that for a second. There we go. I think that killed them, although I didn't get any XP. Not sure why I didn't get any XP. Uh, we are at the end of the episode. Um, I meant to stop it at 30 minutes, but you know, we got a little bit of extra. It, Bethesda Sousa it definitely um, is, is a very focused, like I, I have to focus a lot on this, but it's actually really chill because, uh, you know, we're, we're friends with the right people. Um, if you're enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.